I'm in AX here and I'm looking at an item that I've set up and I've put a couple of transactions through so if we have a look at on here what we'll see is we've got site 2 and if we have a look at the cost amount we've got a cost uh, amount in there so the cost price at running average is 11833 for example now if we have a look at the item on the item master we have a cost price fast tab here and you'll see that our default um, cost price is set to a hundred dollars so it's important to understand how this is used for example on the movement journal so this is going to be used to default on some of those transactions so let's have a look if we go across to the movement journal if we're going to use the movement journal to adjust um, um, something on the item some then if I go to the lines for example um, let's put in our item so 773 for example site 2 now I could adjust it but if we have a look at the uh, general tab here um, what we'll see is that we've got a cost price that's defaulted there and that's coming from that um, item cost price that we see here as the default on the item so it could also come from another place so let's clean out this journal and we'll have a look at that so I'll go to my journal movement journal lines and let's just remove that line and we'll come back and put it back in but first if I go back to my item we'll see that we've got this cost price here but I could also have a default cost price now this item is set up to be FIFO so the valuation methods FIFO here if I go up to manage costs I can go to my item price and here I don't have an active price but let's say for example I wanted to put in a default cost price or an active cost price here I could do it by site so let's say for example it's 105 and if I put in another one because the cost prices can be by site um, I could say my site is 1 and let's say this one is 110 because um, the warehouse might be further away um, therefore I might charge a little bit more freight into the item to stock it there for example or something like that so um, that's my prices created I have to activate them so they become active prices um, so let's activate them so I've got two active prices now you'll see when I did that um, if we have a look at the item master the first one that I activated will default back to the um, um, cost on the um, item product master for example but let's have a look at the effect now on the movement journal so if we go back to our lines if I put in that item so 77 x773 for example you'll see if we go to the general tab that this is 105 um, so it could come from the default on the item master or it could come from the price because if we have a look for example I'll put in a second line um, 773 but I'll make this one site 1 for example if we have a look at the cost price on that that's going to be 110 and so that can only come from our um, item prices that we set up because this one is 105 it, and so we had a second item price which is site 2 um, but the 110 can only come from here because that's where we've set it up so it's worth understanding where these prices are going to default from um, when you're using some of these transactions in this particular case a movement journal um, if you need to um, have it go through at a different price obviously you can adjust it here for example uh, but the default prices are going to come from either the item master or your item prices.